I'm gonna see where he goes to escape. Yeah, he went nowhere. Okay, gonna flash out. I didn't want to risk it because I missed everything, but again, this allows you to <laughs> his piss, his piss. This allows you to get kills like that without risking. Thanks. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Jumat and today we're going to do a Trilia mid guide in flexing which we will discuss about this particular item, Archangel Staff, and we're going to compare it with other items. We're going to say we're going to see what's the pros and cons of it and we're going to draw some conclusions. We're going to talk about the associated rooms that you could play with with this item and we're going to see what the general opinion on this one is. So uh, for runes, I'm playing with Electrocute and not Face Rush or something else because in general if you play with this item your power spike will be a bit later because no, you're not having Ludens or GLP for the burst so we have to get Electrocute. We're playing with Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter and for secondary I went for Nimbus Cloak and Transcendence and these rune stats but actually you could go for uh, Biscuit and Time Warp Tonic also because I say this I'm not going for Mana Flow Band and Presence of Mind because this item gives you so much mana and you probably don't need infinite mana now. So I went for the two next best probably uh, keystones or probably runes that could help you into the lane and into the mid to late game. So Nimbus Cloaks and Transcendence. Now, the first thing you want to buy when you're going for this item is probably Lost Chapter instead of Tear because Tear doesn't give you that much to be honest early on and you need the extra cooldown reduction AP from this and instant mana. I mean, this is good as well, but it's not enough and you don't stack it till you finish Archangels, you don't stack it that fast as well. So, I believe that would be the prerequisites when playing like this, when playing with this. Also, I'm playing against the Cassidy. And he lost once. Yes, he's playing with Ignite and he's playing with Fleet Footwork. Also, we're going to crop the video. Okay. We're going to crop the video after the lane phase to the important parts and we're going to make them shorter because not every video. For You, do, you probably don't have time to watch 30 minutes videos every day and every two days where, when I'm making them. Okay, so we're just going to roll up the lane phase, we're going to go for the lost chapter, a vision word, some boots, and then tier, and then after that we're going, oops, after that we're going to stack it up, we're going to see um, how useful is the active, but we're going to also notice probably the cons, uh, which are uh, the fact that we don't have the active of GLP or the passive of Ludens, you still get the cooldown reduction, you still get the damage, but not the, sk the spells the active spells that are so useful okay actually I... okay i guess he flashed i don't think he should have to be honest i'm gonna get the cannon didn't miss that much yes only three to be honest it's fine so i'm going here i'm going to do a very sort of deep word but listen is probably around there anyway as at least already so we're positioning ourselves to be towards the Gragas after with this minion. So we have the word here we're positioning around. We know that uh, Cassidy can't really come close to us. He has no flash either. And we see Lissin. Okay, so... I guess we got the kill only scene, we got double buffs, we're going to stack up nicely from this point. We can also be extremely annoying towards the Cassidy now. Now when you're against the Cassidy, you should do this early on. He will eventually outscale you, especially if you don't ping when he roams. But if you keep in farm and levels toe to toe with him, you're not going to be that bad. Obviously at level 16 he's, he can become unstoppable if you don't have some suppress or some hard CC combo. But until then you can just you can just abuse as much as you can like this. You can just keep them keep him away from the minions because he doesn't have he doesn't have a teleport, especially at this case. So he lost two minions here. He's going to lose more. We're going to be annoying. We're going to push him back. It's fine. Just control the wave, control the gold. Also we have lost chapter. We didn't miss that much CS for this video. Okay, we got that he will recall now so that's why i start to push okay we do some cues like that and now gonna, oh, 
okay also this minion and now we can recall because we push the minions into the tower we make him lose this entire wave here almost probably not sure though when probably he will get one minion maybe yep he will get that one all right so we are recalling we got back we got the control word we got the flash of the Cassidin. we still have flash we're controlling the game pretty well we have double buffs so the, what are the pros and cons we you wonder now the pros are that you have infinite mana and you can go for other runes such as this technically infinite mana well you still get it you still well lose mana but you have more mana than on the other stuff oops okay that was pretty nice gonna cast this also another pro fact is that you have the shield which is extremely useful against well leona engage for this game for burst mages so if you get cc'd by accident you can survive better and stuff like that to be honest and the cons are mainly the fact that it's not uh, Ludens or GLP that's the first thing so you'll miss the active or the passive and the second thing is that you have to scale it up better because well when you play with it you don't have infinite mana right uh, sorry you have to you have to actually scale it I'm gonna back off here because I wasted some mana when you have to scale it it takes some time that's the point and when it takes time generally until yeah you lose other stuff because until you're an early game champion and you need to have utility you need to be early on a machine that murders people and if you are not then you can become pretty much useless i'm seeing oh my god okay he will probably get that i kind of want them to come uh gragas just too far away from us I went back because even if my bot came it would have been dirty and I did not want that but Gragas is staying on the other side of the map now and we are losing Drake if he doesn't come so I can't force stuff I can't force stuff there I can't just I can just push okay, I'm gonna miss that. he probably has flash by now he should have Just, I'm just focused on not getting randomly caught. Coming, coming, coming. Got it, got him. Electrocute proc was enough there. I noticed that it hasn't been procced and that would have meant I still have it. Because it wasn't used before and that means we can get some plates here. So we have two kills. Okay, seems to come. I have flash. I want a plate. Ah, uh, freaking hell, man. Okay. Come, come, come. Okay, that went fine. That could have been better. We could have killed Lee there. Also, I need 500 more gold to actually be able to finish the item. But still, we're going to recall. We're gonna get tier, we're gonna get boots. And we still got the plate. The counter, the my team, the fact that they came back, it's fine. The listen ult was bad. I could have probably died if they played better. Uh, but I expected more from myself as well, because I should have focused the listen. And I still have a bounty, but I no longer have flash. So that means the next diver gank might be a problem. All right. Now we're gonna stack, start to stack up this tier. Okay, I'm gonna cast the combo here. I missed the cannon because of bad uh, timing onto the onto that. Okay, and when you start stacking tier, a good thing about it is that you can use small Qs to practically gain mana. You, you gain four mana, right, per use. So that means when your one mana Q, <laughs> you actually are on on plus every single time. You you gain mana by casting Q. So we, we are at this point, right? It's one mana. You can look at the mana bar. You're actually gaining three mana when doing so. So you're getting small, small advantages. I expect him to jump. I'm just gonna spam it. You have to spam it because it's gonna be fine. Okay, I missed that. I'm gonna cast a big Q there. I mean, I see he just throws Qs at me. The old, all the things I need. Now we gotta spam Qs though. Gotta spam Qs a lot. Under, towards the mid. Because you gain now... Uh, 
you gain now 8 mana per cast, so whenever you do small queues you're gonna gain mana, but you can just spam queues to stack it up faster until you have to, until you reach a certain point, after that it's pointless pretty much, but he got the play that we talked about earlier. I'm an idiot with that cannon. Someone track them, someone write the comments about them, I know I'm missing them. That will just help me improve on that. Alright, so now at this point we start to stack Seraph and we start to deal some more damage than gen in general. We can actually, I vouch that we could actually kill the guy. Jesus. Or I could just go bot because we've seen that Lee Sin is on the top side. Also there is a Drake coming up. solve that problem but we need to solve the mid lane problem as well so we're gonna hit the combo here and we're gonna get it right here okay auto attack out i hope you seen spots gragas so that's a question mark Right there. That's the problem with the listing players. They get very greedy at certain points and they then give a huge shutdown to someone. And wait. No, no, no. Here. No. Okay. Kassan is coming from mid. We know that. We know that for sure. We can get this though. Okay. Yeah, so is coming. Okay. Yeah, so got interrupted, but we got this. Uh, okay. Man. Why did you use smite onto something else? Ah, uh, yikes. Also, they can't lose it there, right? Yep. Okay, so we got the singed as well. And from this point, we should 100% win. I haven't even used that this stuff yet. And they can get mid. I have a lot of gold, man. I'm very much ahead right now. But not, not further than Kasdin. And that pisses me off, honestly. Because he got kills from points that he shouldn't have. So I need level 13. I think I can get it from his rights. Let it reset, Kazin is here. Where are they going, buddy? So, this item gives 150 AP, so we could calculate and well, the mana is insane. But we can just go for this and instant Rapidons, two vision words, and now we are going to hard carry this. Please don't. Please don't. You're gonna get destroyed again. I don't like the fact that there is probably a Lee Sin around. But I do have the shield which allows me to be extremely stupid now compared to other times. It allows me to go deeper, it allows me to do more. And I'm gonna get this if don't mind okay we don't we go we go and push mid man their bot is going to hard push bot okay come i'm here okay Oh, 
the poison. Should have proc the shield. You can proc the shield and ride the wall after that. Okay. There is a Cassidy that's about to jump on it, most likely. But I do enjoy. I do enjoy the Lulu man and his utility. So we can just we can just keep doing this. We can just be the main battle mage here that spams spells with the blue buff apparently, which I'm very thankful from the Gragas. We can just do that, and I think Jinx is dead. Depends on how he plays. Okay. Look at the amount of burst and damage I could output there. Okay, so we have to get the Drake. This is what we do next. Just push this very fast. And keep, as I said, keep the level onto the casting. Because normally he should have destroyed me. But then again, I'm not really normal, am I? Okay. Back off. Go for the Drake. It's free. Uh, Listen fell off. And that cost them. I do have the Seraph soon again and How did you miss that man? Oh boy, the frame drops. Wow! Did I just proc the ult of Yasuo with my ult? I'm just having frame drops but that worked. Yep, we just won the game there with that ult. Ult on Kog'Maw, that actually proc the Astro's ult. Well, sorry for the frame drops, but that would look sick, even in that context. Still having a vision word. Managed to destroy them there. We do have this Seraph again, as I spoke. This allows me to be way more aggressive, and it's actually quite beautiful. Get it, get the tower and we back off. I'm back off. Nah man, back off. We could just hang around here probably. Nah, there is a singe coming. Okay. I'm fine. But this Baron might be not. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, it's free. The Lysin is there though, it's not that free, I'm not sure. Okay, apparently it was truly free. So, going back to mid now and going to scale off the advantage, we're going to probably reach uh, another full level advantage onto the... Yep, he's level 14, I'm level 16 at this point. Having more CS, more everything else. Uh, but it, it was close in the mid game. He could have scaled off that. Also, we could go and get this guy here for nothing. I'm gonna see where he goes to escape. Yeah, he went nowhere. Okay, gonna flash out. I didn't want to risk it because I missed everything, but again, this allows you to... <laughs> his piss, his piss. <laughs> this allows you to get kills like that without risking. Thanks. <laughs> I, I, I was like Zoe in that context. I hit nothing and I still got the kill and that's why it annoys him. And it's obviously a good thing for me, but if he would have flashed, I would have died there. <laughs> So, we're gonna go for the blue, we're going to help our team here, but it's a 2 versus 3, it should be fine. Because Lulu is extremely 
annoying at this point. Okay, we got that. We might even get the scuttle. Okay, look at the AP. This is also the max AP build with the Archangel, theoretically. We don't have these actives, but it's the max AP build. And that's something, to be honest. Okay, come in. Really, man? Okay. Really? Okay. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, buddy? Jesus, that Q damage is insane. This is what's happening when Tlia is very far ahead. Okay, the problem, though, problem is that I don't have much to do. Okay, we can just... Ah, we got Jinx, never mind. Yep, game is over. And she went full insane. I suppose this is how you play with Archangel staff. I did some mistakes. I did that engage onto the Kogma where I failed. I'm used to GLP. So that's why I play like that. No, 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 get the kill. Obviously, we get the kill. Man, <laughs> the only problem <laughs> does work, does a slow ever work on you? Yeah. <laughs> not me and not on Jinx. The only problem with that engage was that I forgot the fact that I don't have GLP. I was so used to it. And when you play with Archangel staff, you're going to miss some of these combos because you don't have the certainty of that of the GLP active but we still got the kill because of the active because of flash and because of how stupid the thing is and how far ahead I was I believe that was the game guys I really hope you enjoyed it and see you next time that was my Archangel stuff video and we'll see what we do next probably I'm thinking of Ludens and Protobelt build that would be one we might even try Mana Moon because I'm interested in how that works and Draga said it me I thought it was there oh, about to insult me again <laughs> Alright, so this was the game. See you next time, guys, and have a nice day or night, wherever you are. Goodbye.